Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be doing an exciting video where we're going to make a fixture plate for our Style X7 to mount our rotary table. So we need the rotary table in our machine for an upcoming part, but instead of just tossing it right onto the table, we're going to show you an optimized solution for mounting it inside your machine. To give you guys a better visual of how this is going to be mounted, we're going to walk over to my computer really quick and open up the setup in SolidCam. If you see these two lines, this is going to be the maximum travel in X in our machine. So as you see, we have four counter bore holes here on the fixture plate, and we're gonna be using those to mount the plate down through the T-slots onto the table of the machine. The two keyways we have cut here, one down the center and one slot, is gonna be for aligning the rotary in X and Y. And then the three remaining holes are gonna be used to clamp the rotary to the fixture plate. You'll see with where the rotary axis is, we actually have it farther over in X than we would have been able to without the fixture plate. This is going to allow us to maximize our travel range inside the machine, even with our fourth axis set up. Another nice thing about this setup is because the parts lifted up in Z, it actually gives us a bigger swing radius so we could fit a larger fixture or a larger part onto the fourth axis. Two of the major advantages in this setup is you're able to still utilize the full X travel of your machine and with the rotary being raised up in Z, you're also able to accommodate for a larger fixture or part on the fourth axis. All right, so we're gonna be making this fixture plate out of 304 stainless. That's so when we're loading and unloading that fourth axis onto it, we're limiting the damage that we're gonna do to it. So that's why we went with something a little bit harder than a material like aluminum. Hey guys, I'm interrupting this video really quick to talk to you about Boombastic 2025 because it is coming up in November and you need to go get your tickets now. We are gonna have over 50 machines on this floor. There's gonna be tons of industry leaders. We're kicking it off with a VIP cocktail event. It's going to be absolutely amazing. You do not wanna miss out on this and being here in person means that you are gonna be entered in to a ton of different giveaways. So go secure your tickets before they sell out and we'll see you here in a few months. Okay, now back to the video. So with these four large counter boards, we're gonna be using M12 screws and these are gonna be going through the T-slots in our table and they're gonna be used to secure the plate to the table. So we got our plate installed. A moment ago, you might've noticed that we had three holes for holding down our rotary axis. But what I decided to do to add a little more downward force at the center of the plate, we're actually holding down straight through the center now. And I cut a slot instead of that hold. So now we're going right down through the plate to the T-slot in the table. The large slot in the middle is gonna be used for alignment and it's gonna line up with the keyway slots in the rotary axis. And then the last feature on this plate is gonna be this little keyway and that's gonna be used as a bump stop in X for our rotary axis. All right, so this turned out great. You've seen the part moving around. We got a lot more clearance. We're maximizing our work envelope. Also, if you'd like any information about purchasing one of these machines, make sure to reach out to Keith at titansofcnc.com and like and subscribe for more machining content.